What's up, fam? It's your boy Black at you, back at you with another short video. This video is gonna be about a question I was asked. Some said, um, it wasn't a question, but it was telling me something. Bunch I didn't know. He said, um, Dead Eye has been arrested. I said, Dead Eye. I said, Who the fuck is Dead Eye? <laughs> right? At first, it was Dead Eye, right? The only Dead Eye I knew who made a rap song a while ago. It was called um, Edgemere Warfare, something like that. That's how I heard the word Dead Eye. But I didn't know this dude was, um, a gang member, I just heard that song before. But well, anyway, fam, the brother that I got busted. Let me read a little bit about the guy here, okay? He's very interesting, too, you know? The dude that I, they call him Dead Eye first off, and go by there, because um, he got shot in um, he got shot in the head and something like that, so he has one fake guy, he can pull that motherfucker out, too, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, to Dead Eye. Cops have caught the two members of a violent city bloods gang leader, including a close pal of hip hop star Cardi B, authorities said Friday. Robert Bailey, a 43-year-old with the street name of Dead Eye, was arrested Thursday in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And 49-year-old Augustus Ingram, a.k.a. The Elevator, was busted Wednesday in New York City, according to federal and local police. The two men were arrested in connection with the 5-9 Brims Gang, a murderous drug trafficking ring that's been around for at least a decade, authorities say. Earlier this year, the feds charged Willie Evans and Yannette Respass the alleged godfather and godmother of the gang. Rest past more, widely known as a close friend of Cardi B, who has been a vocal supporter of the 29-year-old. Members of the gang have promoted and celebrated in music and on social media. The criminal exploits and threatened witnesses with violence. The indictment reads. Therefore, but what they're telling you is uh, they've been watching these people for a while now. When the feds do that, they watch you. Like I said, social media. Everyone's on social media talking, talking, talking. Gang, 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 and shit like that. All they do is indicting themselves, you know? Like self snitching. That's all they doing there is putting themselves in damn jail and putting the heat on them. Because every time you come up, they know you're uh, a known gang member. You got a goddamn um, a YouTube page. They on you. And put it like this here What other race have gangsters? You no. Know, so called gangsters. So called gangsters. So called gangsters. You no. Know, with Facebook pages, Instagram pages, you know, every damn thing. Their whole life is on the um is on the internet. But because of OGs and stuff like that, these dudes are real fools. These are real fools, you know. Why? What 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 good is for you? You know? If you're doing some dirt like, like dudes for pumping his music, that's something different. But if you're out there doing dirt, they say what they um what this moving crack, heroin, fentanyl. And some, and some other shit there. Come on, man. And they said also got some murder charges we're trying to get to people for. Wow. Like I always say, like Beretta said, if you do the crime, you got to do the goddamn time, you know? And it's bad for the female there. Uh, what's her name? Um, Brim, Star Brim. She has children. This female has children. Now, again, locked up. Who will take care of babies? Huh? They gonna try to give us a five year sentence? Hell no. They gonna try to dog her out. They gonna they, oh, they gonna try to make an example out of her. Mm. You know, and 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 that dude dead eye and the other goddamn brother says on loose the 20, 23 year old brother named Bullet. Bullet, you better run, goddamn bullet. You better keep on going. When they get you, ain't gonna be no more. You're gonna, gonna put a halt to your shit. You might never come back home. You know what I'm saying? So how do you find you got there right now? But for this girl star brim, it's more worth her, like I said, because she's a woman and has children, you know. So therefore, the feds will put the pressure on her. They're gonna put the pressure on her because they know she got children and she's a female. She can act all hard all you want. Um, I'm stand up. I ain't gonna do this. I ain't dropping down, stuff like that. Maybe she won't. I don't know how this, this female is built. But I tell you this, most females, they have children. You tell them that you, you would never see your kids again. You would never see them kids again. Or, or, or by the time you do see them goddamn kids, they're gonna be in their forties and shit like that. And you maybe 70 or dead, whatever. They, they, man, come on. And maybe some snitching going on. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that she is, fam. I'm not saying she is, but I'm saying like this here. It might be some snitching going stuff going on there. It's gonna be probably more and more of these um, five nine Brims gang gonna go down with them. You know? Gonna go down with them. We talk about all these drug charges, murder, and some kind of a gang they've been looking at for, for all these years. Woo, man. You know how the feds are wrong. They batting averages like 98%. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, they're in some trouble. 
They in some trouble. But hey, when you're on the social media talking this mess here, what you do and your gangs and all that stuff there, they watch you. They watch you and they watch you. Like I said, they, right now, people are making the authorities' jobs more easier. All they got to do is sit home like remote work at home like this and, and watch goddamn Facebook and YouTube and get all the information they need. Anyway, I hope this um, female somehow away gets out of it, you know, because she got kids, you know. I'm thinking of the kids of that one, you know, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? But um, I see a lot of people on the internet here, which, which brought me to the subject was free this person, free this person, free that person. I tell you like this here, cool. If someone was doing something light, you know, some bullshit, I would say free that person, free that person. But you got someone there with gangs in the neighborhood doing destructive things. When I say destructive things, gang banging, selling fentanyl, heroin, and crack in the neighborhoods, then they deserve to get the hell out of the goddamn neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? They deserve whatever they get. You know what I'm saying, fam? It might sound harsh, but that's the way it is. You know, that's the way it is. You always want to have sympathy for your homies, but you can't have too sympathy for um, people that's um, destroying our neighborhoods with fentanyl and heroin and shit like that. Nah, 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 nah. If they fucking, they did it, lock their ass up. That's what it is, fam. Hit the like. Hit dislike. What's what? I don't give a goddamn, but um, subscribe black. Hit the why because I keep it real. And I'm out, fam. Peace.